everyone. Aloha. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. In this episode, we take a nice talk story session with Makaha legendary surfer and waterman Bruce DeSoto, who's getting interviewed by his nephew Tia Helm. And the beautiful thing about this little episodic is that Tia contacted me to help him with a school project that he had to document Kupuna. So this is a really nice, cute little story about traditional practices here with the Hawaiians, as well as mentoring the youth. Hope you like it. Let us know in the comment section. And if you like this program, hit the smash button and we'll be uploading more cool episodics throughout the year, one per week. Thank you very much. My name is Pake Salmon and this is my channel. Hope you like this show. Aloha. My life been just perfect. I live on the west side, the best side, and we got the best waves out here. And I got my toys. I got a perfect family and uh, good friends. And the west side, everybody's like a big family. When we go out in the water, surf, or even, you know, parties like that, we, we, we come one family out there in the water. So me, I'm, I'm lucky. I, I work all my life, but I had my, my toys to make me happy. I don't mind working as long as you get your toys and you can go in the water. And me, I love to ride dirt bikes because it runs in my, my family. So I go on Sundays, I go up in the mountains, ride dirt bike. And then the rest of the week, I'm in the ocean, either coaching a canoe club or surfing if get waves. So the water is the fountain of youth. It keeps you mentally and physically good. What I like to pass on to you, Ty, is to be kind and love your parents and, and your family. Take care of them. And, and in, in, in the ocean, you enjoy the ocean because it's, it, like how I said, it keeps you young and it, uh, keeps you healthy. Well, Ty, I want to pass on to you and your cousins about shaping surfboards because I have all the tools and when I, 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 Uncle pass on, the tools are all going to go to waste. So I want you guys to use the tools. You guys can shape your guys' own boards and just keep on passing them down. The, what, what, what I pass to you, you pass on down to the, the next generation. And so, you know, the, the shaping uh, by hand gonna die because we've got all, all, all the machines that sh shaping surfboards nowadays where the shaping by hand is diminishing. Mm -hmm. So I just wanna pass it on to, to you folks so you guys can keep the trade going. The last question I wanted to ask you is who had passed this on to you? Oh, David Palmer, Rel's son's husband. I used to go diving with him because Ralph's son said, Bruce, take my husband diving because he's been watching me too much. He needs a break. So I've been, I took him for like eight years every time, maybe twice a month or once a month. Sometimes we go dive all over the island. I take him all over. And on one day on the way home, I just didn't ask him because I never knew how to shape boards. And, he, I, and he, he's one of the top shapers. So I asked him, Dave, I'd like to learn how. He said, Bruce, be in my shaping room, 9 o'clock tomorrow. And I was there, and ever since that day, I, I, I was hooked. I, I wanted to make surfboards. I'm connected to Uncle Bruce because his grandma, Grandma Lo, and my papa's grandma, Grandma Irene, are both sisters. They were both born and raised in town. And after Grandma Lo was married, she stayed in town. After Grandma Irene was married, she eventually moved to Nanakuli. And here we are. Okay, I'm here to teach my nephew how to shape a surfboard. Right now, I'm gonna show him the tools that you need to make a surfboard. Of course, you're gonna need a planer. You, you're gonna need a wood sander and a grater, both graters. 
of course you're going to need you're going to need the the measuring tape and this measuring tape here and pretty much uh, oh you're going to need some more sandpaper uh, the, the the screen for shaping the foam and that's it now i'm going to tell you about the uh, the board, the measurements, you need three measurements, four actually, because you need one foot from the no, uh, the tail, in, in the middle is another measurement, and then the nose is one foot from the nose. So what I do first is I get the foam blank and then I measure. Okay, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a tool for the thickness of the board. You, you want the, the, the thickness and you come here and you see what, the, okay, it's, this board is three and a quarter. So you, you go use this for the thickness of the board. And, and usually you go from the middle to, to find the thickness. And then you get this, you go one foot from the, the tail this way okay the, you go from the middle okay it's seven inches you go this side it should be seven again so it's going to be 14 the the tail is 14 and then you go in the middle of the board the, the, this is a 10 footer so it should be about five feet right here and you go the middle of the board is 11 11 and a quarter so 11 and a quarter no 11 and 11 so that's 22 the board is the middle is 22 then you go to the nose how much is eight it's nine 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 and nine is 18 so 18 nose 22 in the middle and 14 tail. And what you do is every time you measure, every time you measure, you put a dot right where you want it. Okay, the, the, the seven, you put dot there, you put dot here, same thing like the middle and the nose, and then you grab the template. Grab that one over there, right there on the top. Oh, kind of dirty, but. So I go right from here. Let's go from the tail first go here you go to the dot and then you get the and and this dot you you line you line up the dots with, with the template and you get the pencil you just do the pencil the, the line and same thing like the nose you're doing the same thing uh, with, with the nose and then you come with the saw that saw right there and then you just just cut the uh, cut it out and then then you sand them after, and then you work the rails, and because you're gonna do that too on, on this side too, the nose and everything. And then if you like concaves, you kind of work in the middle, and then you just you make your own concave and V bottoms. You like the back to be V. The straighter the board, the faster it is. But the more creation you make back, back here, the looser the board gets. Mm -hmm. on, on, on the bigger board, the, the tankers. And yeah, you can put this back. And then usually, yeah, usually uh, the tail block, you'd like them at least about five inches or six inches, the, the middle one. And then about the side fins, if you like side fins. Three, four inches. Yeah. You can like them at least one, one, one inch away from the, the corner. But, but you kind of like them like this. You, you, you don't like them straight because the board will be stiff. So you make them a little, little bit kind of inside so the thing get loose, the thing start working. <laughs> ¶¶